Yo, welcome guys to the last video of the series. And there is a reason why Sword is the last one of the skill specialization videos. We did cover all the other six weapons and they were translated into English, but Sword is in Korean. And I hope that until I get to the point where I have to cover the Sword, it's already translated, but that didn't work out. So I did search an AI tool, translated everything with the tool to provide this video. So it was lots and lots of work. So if you appreciate the work, feel free to like the video, share it with your friends and hit the subscribe button. We are starting with the strike shield. The first version right here will be changing it to a 60 degree fan rage and it will reduce the magic hit by 250. The second one increases the animosity of the damage target. The third one decreases the crit of the target by 250. This is what the normal version looks like and this is what the version in the cone looks like. You see that cone right here. Next up is the barrier of counterattack. Here, the first version is giving us 100 maximum health damage received when hit for six seconds, and we can use it in the six seconds again to deal a damage blow. The second one means that if we are doing a successful counter, the cooldown will be down to 0.5 seconds. And the last one will give basic damage increased by 5% during the reactivation time of the barrier. Those right here cannot be used together. So I will show you this version here first. And you can have the benefits now while this is running. And if you reactivate it, you're doing the, the skill. Now this is the second version. Where we're just having the barrier up. And if we're doing it successfully, we're having the cooldown reduced. Next up, we are having the Roar of Provocation and here the first option is having a 70% chance to reduce the magic defense of the enemy. The second one is increasing the duration by 1.2 seconds and in PvE it's doing it even by 1.8 but you cannot stack it with the first version. Then next up we are having the reuse time reduced to 6 and the fourth one is the damage is added by 220%. So let me show you what that looks like in-game in this version. And now let's go over to the first version. Next up, we are having the Iron Reactivity, where the first one is increasing our skill damage and from your party by 47 for 9 seconds in an area of 10 meters. The second one will also increase the movement speed by an additional 10%. And the third one, the Cataclysm, means that the skill is changed to the skill you use and the effect is changed to the skill you can increase. So let me show you that version here first. Now we are having the, um, the buff applied right here or we can go with the regular version and this is this one right here. Next up we are having the Fierce Assault and the first one here you can also increase the damage by 200% and you can increase the probability to hit that collision also by 10%. So I will show you this version here first and now the clean version. Next up, we are having the Immortal Pride, which on the first one changes to have 12% uh, of maximum health as a shield. The second one means that the next skill that you're using will only cost 20% of its original mana. And the third one means that your health regen is increased by 200% during the duration. Let me show you this version here first. You can see the buff being applied right here. And now let's show you the clean version. This is this. Next up, we are having the Resolute Trust, where the first version is increasing the white by 150%. The second version is increasing the max targets to 8, while it only has 5 in the original one. And the third one is reducing the movement speed by 50% at a 70% chance. Let me show you what that looks like in game. So next up, we are having the chain hook right here. And with the first one, you can increase it. So you can actually hook up to 10 people. The next one is a range increase. And then afterwards, you can make it so it's a wrath attack. The last one cannot be used together with the first one. So let me show you the first one here first. 
where Ghost travels back and forward. So it's basically luring the enemies into you. And the next one is the rear hook that if you are using it, you are throwing the enemy behind your back. It does not work on the dummies. And if you're using it on a dummy or like a monster that cannot be um, thrown behind you, then you will pull yourself towards it. Next up, we are having shield throwing. We are the first one will be able to make it so the shield is actually spreading to enemies nearby. The second one will further increase our animosity. And the third one will make it so we have a 35% chance to use it a second time. We can use it once, we got lucky and we can use it again. And you saw how it spread against those dummies. Next one is the annihilation slash. Here, the first one will make it so you're actually reducing the movement speed of your enemies by 60 seconds. The next one means you can use it two times and the other one means the range is increased by 1.5 meters. So let's go back a little bit so you can better see it. One and you can do it again too. The next one is called Strike of Recovery where you're healing and you can also make it so you're also regaining stamina and you can make it so you can use it twice. Next up is the strike of recovery where you can make the first one so it also gives you stamina and the second one so you're having two strikes let me show you what that looks like in game see we recovered the mana right there next up we're having the a must win opportunity where the third one blade annihilation is giving us additional attack distance and 20 percent damage on our long sword the number one is increasing that damage to 30 percent and the last one is increasing the duration. So let me show you what that looks like in game. You see, it's like this big area of attack that we are shooting up front. And this is what it looks like in game when it's clean. So no area up front. Yeah, guys, that was it. That's the end of the video. I hope even though it was like a bit of a trouble with the Korean, you were able to follow with the blend-ins of the translations. And if that is the case, I would really like if you um, subscribe to the channel to not miss any of the other guides that are planned. And if you, you have any other questions, just let me know in the comments. I will answer everything in less than 24 hours. Cheers, guys.